Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Marnie's Nicole and I am an acrylic painter. Today I am doing another Artist Diary number 24 and I'm doing an update because it's been a week <laughs> and I didn't mean for it to be a week but it's been a week and it feels so long since I filmed but it hasn't. It's just been seven days. Um, but to start off with the art show, inserting pictures here. Uh, so I went and I participated in an art show this is the third one I've attended and it was a fun experience it was okay I didn't win um I would be way more excited if I won but uh, I didn't win any of the the prizes and that's okay I was a tad bit salty about it <laughs> for a little while uh, uh photography piece won and it was a photograph of a goat in a field and that one the uh, prize of the show and I thought I had more pictures of the art show but I don't so <laughs> moving right along if you don't recognize this piece behind me and that's because uh it's completely redone I wiped goose inserting the original picture here and I started over from scratch um, I'd been working on that piece the whole month and I realized I was not getting anywhere with it I didn't like where I was going I ended up hating the reference photo because I'd been staring at it so long and so I moved on I didn't want to waste the board and I after stepping away from it um for like two weeks and coming back to it and still not having an urge to fix what was wrong in my head I just I just wiped it <laughs> and then I came up with goose 2.0 and she no longer fits the theme of goose so she will be renamed and this piece right here is still on that 16 by 20 canvas board from Fredericks and I kind of went completely like abstract with it I just went away from the original concept and this you know just decided just to paint and see what I came up with and this is um this is just this is just what it is <laughs> Um, I feel kind of detach detached from this piece because I was so attached to Goose. Um, like I named it Goose and I was going around and like, hey, I'm working on Goose and Goose this and Goose that. And now, now I'm so detached from this because this isn't Goose. This is something new. Um, but you know, tell me what you think in the comments. Do you like it? Mm -hmm. Here's a close up. Putting that right here. And this took me about three days to paint. Um over the course of the of a week because obviously I paint in spurts <laughs> but maybe 72 hours of time went into painting this I kept um going back and changing the hair the hair kept bothering me first it was too big then it was too small then it was too big and then it was too small and I'll insert some progress photos here do 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 um so you can see kind of like how it adapted in the different stages it went through until I finally ended up on this but I like this I'm just, you know, <laughs> stepping away from it because ah, I was so disappointed in myself for wiping goose. Um, I felt kind of like it was a failure and I know there's no failure in art. There's never any failure in art. Um, but kind of like I didn't finish it and I do always want to finish my ideas and my concepts and everything. But whew, it was stressing me out and art is supposed to be fun. It's supposed to be relaxing. It's supposed to bring me joy. If it's stressing me out, then that's that's enough. So I did this and you know, comments for real. Tell me what you think about it. I I don't know if I like it. <laughs> There's parts that I absolutely love. Like I love how the skin tone came out and I love the peek through of color and the different spots in her hair, but I don't know. Mm. I don't know. All right, so this next piece I love, absolutely love. There's nothing I would change about this piece. This is an abstract that I did over the last couple of nights and it was so much fun. I had this idea, I was like, I'm gonna do abstract and I'm gonna do rain and and blue and mm, And so I painted down the background after I just so did. I just painted down like colors and put down the stripes and they use purple, granacrid magenta and um this this green from carbon and i i can't remember the exact shape but i just put down those colors and these like you know quick motions and let it dry and then i was intending to paint over it just 
blue raindrops with silver highlights that's it and I was gonna leave it abstract because one of the things I want to do this year is to do more abstracts but when I went to go do the next layer and add the blue raindrops I kind of saw a girl peeking through the stripes and I was just like wow I have an idea let's do it do it do it do it do it and so I just went at it and I just I just went at it and I love how it came out inserting detailed shot there and I, I just this is just so advanced for me personally because I don't paint a lot of concepts like I paint people I paint females I paint hair um, but when it comes to the full piece and it comes to the whole picture um, something I noticed that I was slacking in is conceptualizing pieces giving it a story giving it a plan giving it more than just a face because I, I paint faces and I feel like I paint them well um, but other than my fairy tale project that I've been working on and making little progress to none but other than those two pieces um if you don't remember them a robin red and a sleeping beauty <laughs> but other than those two pieces i haven't painted any real concepts it's just been a face on a background and that in itself can be its own concept but i want to do more i want to do landscapes and i want to do like a snapshot of just a world and give that vision but I haven't gotten to that point so this piece in particular it's giving me <laughs> it's giving me a concept that I enjoy and it's so abstract and it's so fun I don't know what to call it it was supposed to be a raindrop and it was supposed to be uh, something like a storm like a hurricane I guess I guess that could be its name hurricane I don't know moving on the last piece that I did is this little round here um, I was wanting to do something but not a really big piece and so I grabbed one of these rounds this is a uh, black gesso canvas board round 8 inch and it's from actually I think this is also from Fredericks I have a lot of their boards and I really like them and I just did like this kind of garden X piece and I'll just bring it a little closer for me now I didn't go as detailed as I would have liked on her face or her outfit or anything like that but I just wanted to play around with this theme I just I kind of like it I kind of like it it's very simple it's very naturey it feels like she's in a garden staring off into the distance so I like this and this is just simply called garden and I like this piece so this is again an 8 inch round so that's what I've been working on. Tell me below in the comments what you've been up to and now if you'd like to see my last video go ahead and click right here. If you'd like to subscribe click on my face. <laughs> anyway my name is Marnice Nicole. I'm an acrylic painter. Thanks so much for watching. Have a good one.